Every week, Epic Games has a free game. Sometimes they are something that has you all aboard, and others are just way off the rails. Welcome to All Together Games, and I am the All Together Gamer. I love games of all kinds, and I'm here to go over and share my thoughts on if this week's free Epic game is worth your time. For this week, we have Sunless Skies Sovereign Edition, pulling into the station. Epic has this categorized as a horror, RPG, and roguelike. I would also like to add in visual novel to the grouping as well, but more on that later. Is Sunless Sky something to keep you chugging along, or will it be derailed before it even gets started? Here are my thoughts on Sunless Sky with the game playing in the background. If you enjoy game reviews and want to see more, Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss the next game. Sunless Sky is the continuation of Sunless Sea. It has multiple endings and lots of extras to do apart from the main story. With around 23 hours for the main story and almost 100 hours to go for 100% completion, it will keep you punching them tickets for a while. Its HP Lovecraft style of storytelling will surely have you wanting to discover what is around the next bend. The graphics of Sunless Sky are all about the aesthetics of the story. It gives this foreboding feeling of the unknown of space as you explore the map trying to get to your next location. The controls are simple but some things are more intuitive. They give you turning, cruise control, and strifing along with the bat. There are some things that you do need to get used to, mostly concerning the cost of using things and how long fuel and supplies last. The gameplay is more or less closer to a visual novel than that of an action-packed exploration game. Even though it came out in 2019, it has a very 1997 feel to it. You get to pick what ending that you are working towards, fame, riches, or the truth. The classes give some stat buffs that will benefit some of the random events that you come across. To translate it to Dungeons and Dragons terms, Iron is Strength and Endurance, Mirrors is Wisdom and Perception, Heart is Constitution and Persuasion, and Veils is Dexterity and Athletics. These can help you in progressing the story by finding items that you need, convincing someone to join you, opening up a quest line, and many other things. As the game progresses, the RPG elements of the game show more as you build both your captain and their experiences along with your train and its equipment that can range from guns to protect yourselves to drills for mining operations. Each time you start up a new game, the map will be generated and have things spawn in. This will change each time you start a new game so there is a lot of replay value to be had from exploration since you never know what is going to be in the unknown. The things I did not care for in Sunless Sky is that it takes some time to learn where things might be. The vaguely given descriptions of where the major towns are when you first start out, that talking in town and learning about the towns does not give you a marker on the map to show you that it is in that general location and some of the terms used within the writing can lead to confusion if you do not understand the old timely words being used. The atmosphere of Sunless Skies would be one of the best things about it. It has a very Lovecraftian horror vibe about it, and the stories I did find I was wanting to see to the end. The tabletop RPG feeling was also a nice touch giving it the feeling of a classic game like Fallout 1 or Neverwinter Nights. I would recommend this to those who enjoy visual novel type games and also for those who like games such as the original Fallout game. I only spent around 4 hours with this title but found a lot of mysterious stories. For a $25 game this one is best to get if you can get it on sale or like how it is now on the Epic Store from June 27th till July 4th. My personal review is a solid 3 train horns out of five. If you did make it this far into the video, I am trying to do reviews on all of the games that Epic puts out for free along with other free games available online. And a thumbs up goes a long way to helping to drive me to make more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more reviews on the next epically free game.